guys it's your girl tabita again so in this video i'm going to be telling you the things that i did after my grandpa passed knowingly and unknowingly the first thing i realized is that i just started dressing in black like all the outfits that i wore were black like it wasn't I don't, it wasn't it wasn't intentional but I just felt like oh I just lost somebody so close to me and I am aware of the fact that black is like a sign of mourning so my grandpa passed on the 5th of July I was already in Douala I was getting ready for my trip back to Lagos so I was supposed to leave back to Lagos on the 9th of July and he passed on the fifth of july I, re I even remember calling my grandma on that fifth of july and she was like because i was supposed to leave guys i was supposed to leave back to lagos on the fifth of july i had to postpone my flight to the ninth of july you see how god does his things so the next i had to travel back to my hometown which was the sixth. so i just saw myself wearing black all through when i was in my hometown i was always dressed in black or maybe I wear something and a touch of black it was white black and white that i was wearing another thing i saw myself doing was i became so righteous like there is nothing i i wasn't taking anything serious anymore i just felt like i saw this man a few days ago and all of a sudden he's no more today so why take life too seriously so i found myself just being righteous not just not taking anything serious because to me life is just we just visitors and all of us are going to leave this world someday and the third thing is i like i didn't care about my looks anymore i've, I've not done makeup like i've not put makeup on my face since my grandpa has it's been two months plus i've not had makeup on my face the only time i did makeup was when i got back to lagos because I'm hosting a red carpet event for the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. So we had like a photo shoot and that was the only time that I did makeup. I really care about how I looked, no makeup, no dressing well. Another thing is no parties. I didn't party. I, was, I wasn't even going out. And uh, another thing again is I cut my hair. Yeah, um, I cut my hair because um, in some traditions if somebody that is very close to you passes on you cut your hair as a sign of mourning so i cut my hair as you guys can see i cut my hair it's been two months but you know i like i keep normal short hair but it's always tinted i had to go bald the reason thing is everybody compliments the bald look <laughs> people keep complimenting oh they love my hairstyle it looks it suits me it looks good on me and i'm even thinking I'm even thinking of retaining it. Do you guys think that the bar head suits me in there? I was also not on social media for quite a while. Like I wasn't active on social media like I used to be active before. I just did a single post on my Instagram and that post I did was a video announcing the passing of my grandfather. I also did one post on my TikTok. I did one post on my Facebook and ever since then I didn't post on my Instagram, but I tried to update Facebook once in a while. I started posting on TikTok just recently after my return to Lagos. So yeah, I went on a social media break, but now I'm back to creating content and hopefully I'll start updating my social media platforms. Then the most important thing is no naki no like. I felt so, <laughs> I was just feeling so conscious, like, ah, I'm not married. My grandpa, but if she don't was on side, he see me at the knack. Like, the girl don't even want herself, say, my go rest for the brain knack. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> these are the things that I saw myself doing after my grandpa passed, knowingly and unknowingly. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to click on that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Bye, thanks for watching.